Nashville Regional Information Sharing System, or what I refer to as NRIS, brings 24 dispatch centers together, connects their computer-aided dispatch systems to share data live in real time as events are taking place. Knowing what's going on closest to our borders and being able to see that and being able to look at each one of those calls and see the comments in there and know exactly what they're responding to is important to us because there, there are times we may be just as close if not closer than Metro or Williamson County or whatever agency happens to be experiencing a call. The Nashville Regional Information Sharing System was just recently installed at the City of Brentwood. Uh, we're nearing completion of that project and within two weeks of that being installed, they were able to use that system to bust a burglary ring that was taking place. Police break up a major home burglary ring this afternoon. Problem is, the three men arrested are not talking. Police believe this trio might have struck as recently as this afternoon in Bellevue. Brentwood police started this whole thing today. They tried to get a van suspected in a number of home burglaries to stop. Today, the van carrying these three suspects continued here along Hillsborough Road, turned onto an access road, and the three subjects inside bailed. We had a multi-jurisdictional task force set up. We had identified who the suspects were or where they were staying, so surveillance had started on, on their residence. At some point, the suspects went mobile. Surveillance teams followed them. Uh, after a few minutes, they had suspects determined they were being followed and they ran. Three headquarters were being pursued. That vehicle was going to be headed back eastbound on Olympic Boulevard. As they were coming in to, towards Brentwood on Hillsborough Road, or getting close to Hillsborough Road, uh, we had all of our cars headed that way. Forty to three, where can we intercept them at? Three headquarters, we're eastbound on Olympic Boulevard. We'll see if we can get them at Granny White. Uh, they turned uh, south on Hillsborough Road. There's a heavily wooded area on the right, uh, probably a quarter of a mile down Hillsborough. They crashed the gate and uh, bailed out in the wooded area. This side road is dead in. They just, hit, they just broke through the gate. Broke through the gate on no trespassing road. Just bailed out. We're through the woods, kind of through the woods here. One's bailed out. We're up 97. I'll be establishing command. We'll get the helicopter up, get a canine route. It was just essential that uh, we get everything set up and get, a, get it locked down. When I got on the scene, I immediately set up the command post and started looking to see where all my resources were. The remaining equipment cars that are not on the scene go west of Hillsboro with your perimeter established. And for everybody knows, we're looking for two male black, dressed in black clothing. Headquarters, you got fat by the when we got on the scene, uh, the pursuit had turned into a, to a manhunt, so uh, I, I was already logged on the fat pots and I just switched over that screen and um, I could see the cars just like I'd seen in training and I just started uh, trying to establish an outer perimeter and I could see the metro units, the Williamson County units coming up and we placed them accordingly. For Lieutenant King, if you can dedicate somebody to fat pots, that would help me a lot. Order 40. Ping it, Stratton Court. Once uh, we determined what the cell phone number was and got the provider, we had him ping it. That's how spotted him and he's running. Metro has him in custody. Of course, drag. Metro has subject in custody. Police say they have solved a burglary ring that spanned three different jurisdictions. The arrests of three suspects, though, did not come easily. When Brentwood police attempted to stop a van this afternoon, the driver turned down an access road and all three suspects bailed. Two of the men didn't get far. One managed to get away for a while, but police caught up with him as well. Knowledge is power, and we can never have too much knowledge with our jobs. Uh, there are too many unknowns out there for us anyway, so every little bit that we can have that brings us closer together, that gives us more knowledge and more communication ability with one another, I think the better off we are.